I'm just doing a bit of work on this painting. As I'm working on it, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about working in a series, what that means. Because I get a lot of questions about that. What's, what do you mean by working a series? Some people disagree with this, but for me, a series is a set of related paintings. So I wouldn't call something a series if just because I was working on them all at the same time. So if I did some still lifes and then some figure drawing and then some abstracts, I wouldn't call that a series. For me, a series is linked somehow by an idea, by a cult, that might be a color palette, it might be a concept, but there's a link there that you could explain to somebody else. So in this case, I'm working with a very limited color palette. And I have been for the last few months. If you see my videos, you've seen this color palette. So there is uh, Thalo Turquoise, which is a lovely blue. There is um, white and black. There is cadmium orange light. And in some paintings, there is also a bit of cerulean blue. So that's, and then I'm exploring that limited palette. In, and I've decided I want the paintings to be completely abstract. I don't want horizon lines. And so that's another thing that ties these paintings together. And then finally, I've decided to explore and experiment with text and with pattern and with loose brush marks. So a combination of those things to create something different than I've done before. So that's what ties this series together. And then in each painting, I want each painting to have its own thing. So even though I'm replicating the same color palette, I want something to be the star of each painting that is different from everything else. In this one, it might be these, the weeds. I drew these in ink and then I transferred my drawing onto this board by gluing down a laser print of the drawing and then getting the paper off after it had dried you wet it and you pull the paper off I shall show you that some other time but um that that for me I feel like th that might be the point of this one well not so much the point but the thing that makes it different from anything else none of the others have these weed shapes on them this one is very similar though but this one has a drawn on piece of barbed wire Will they end up being too similar? I'm not sure. They could go together nicely, couldn't they? If you can see them both, yeah, they could actually go together nicely. But I want each one to have its own way, so I might need to look at that when I'm done. But th this is going to be the only one that has those shapes on. I don't like the way that's coming down through the orange, but we'll see. I might leave that. Um, so I'll show you another one that's got something unique. This one isn't finished. I showed this one last week. Um, it's not finished, but this is the only one currently that has a shape like that on it. And so that's what makes that one unique. But this one hasn't found its way yet. Some of the others have a scribble on, but this is the only one with such bold drawn on marks. I'm going to be, have to be really careful when I seal this to keep those marks there because it's a water soluble medium. Uh, so I think it was a, a gel pen. So I'm going to have to be really careful. But that's the, that's the only one that has that on. This one isn't finished. But this has this shape started to appear and a couple of them have this shape. But in at least one painting, that shape might be the star. But you, and, the, and this one has some green in it and some different shades of blue. This one has some green in it, whereas some of them are uh, much darker and much more blue. This one, this one actually does have bits of green, but this one is much rougher. There's a lot more going on. I might get rid of some of these draw marks. It might be a bit too much, but each, you see, has the scribble, but the scribble's not the star in the way the scribble is here. So the ideas come through in each one in different ways. So I'm using these pops of bright color. Here it's um, collaged on, whereas on this one it's painted on. On this one, it's red instead of orange. 
and so this that's what makes this so in each one I'm trying to find something that just is belongs to that painting so they all work together if they were all shown in a gallery together or all shown on my website together they will look cohesive and but each one will be different and the viewer if you're interested in my artwork you'll know which one or two you're drawn to because each one has its own different unique voice so to me that's what a series is I don't prescribe my way for everyone so um, there are lots of other ways to do this some people consider a series anything that you're working on at the same time regardless of if they look alike or have the same theme but for me it has to there has to be some cohesive idea behind them and in my case in this case the idea is simply as i said the color palette and some of the elements that i'm playing with it's not a great big concept sometimes it is a concept it just varies but at the moment i'm just having really good fun with this group of paintings and I'm not sure how many I have on the go. I'm trying to count up while I'm talking to you. It's probably 15. And they're all, almost all the same size. They're all either 10 inches by 10 inches or 12 inches by 12 inches. And then once I've mastered what I want to do, I might try and take these larger on some larger boards. Or by then I might have exhausted this idea and be wanting to move on to something else. And it doesn't matter, it's fine. And the whole idea I feel with a series is to follow what you love, follow what you're interested in, follow what's just grabbing your attention. So because text and collage is grabbing my attention, that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to judge it and say, well, but people think I'm a landscape painter and now I'm not painting landscape. <clears throat> people don't give that much thought to me <laughs> or you or any of us. So you can just do what you want. And by doing what you want, following what makes you happy, you can create whole bodies of exciting work. You'll be amazed at what you can create. I am running a free eight-day workshop. If you don't already know about it, please come and join us. We don't start till June the 3rd. Got plenty of time and I will be letting you know what you need to get together before we start, although you don't need very much. And it's only eight days, so it might seem mad to say this, but in eight days, your life can change if what you really want is to make work, not like mine, but if you want to make free work that feels joyful and easy and that is unique to you, this eight days is the beginning of that journey. I won't promise you that you'll be making exactly what you want at the end of eight days, but I do promise you that if you put the work into those eight days, you will be set free from the limitations that are currently holding you back and you can change your whole life. You can go and embark on a whole new journey. As with all these free courses, I'm just being really upfront that there is a full course at the end of it, which I will be telling you about at the end of it. Don't ask me about it now because I want to focus on the free experience, but I don't want to be fake or pretend there isn't anything to sell at the end. But my team and I, we throw ourselves into that eight days, as you will learn when you come and join us. So you do not have to feel any obligation to come only if you want to stay on for the full course. Just come and have fun with us. And if you find out it's great and it's for you, you might want to stay on. But no problem if you don't. Either way, I just want to see you there. You will find the link to join up wherever you are watching this video in the description of the video. So just click on that link and come on over, put your name on the list. That will secure you a place. There's no limit, so there's no worry about missing out, but do it now so you don't forget. And then closer to the day, I'll be in touch to, I'll be sending you some things along the way because I'm answering some of your questions and I'll send you some little short videos. But when we get closer to June the 3rd, I shall let you know when we're ready to start. That's it for me and my little series. I'm going back to splashing more paint around. I'll see you soon. Bye.